Hi, I'm Chandan. I'm a researcher based out of Bangalore and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about MTech program in uh, climate science at IISC. So the Center for Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences at the Indian Institute of Science offers two types of MTech programs. The first is a regular MTech program, which is a two year program. And the other is an MTech research program, which is a kind of two and a half years program, which is a little more research based. The difference is that uh, because the two year MTech program uh, is more coursework intensive, so the, fi the final project or the dissertation that a person does in that program is judged internally. Whereas uh, the MTech research or MTech by research is a research intensive program. So uh, the thesis uh, or the dissertation or the research is a bigger component or the main component, I would say. And hence uh, the thesis is judged externally, much like what happens in a PhD program. So let's get started with this. I will cover four topics in this. First is the eligibility. Second is the courses that are taught uh, or that are included in this program. Third is the faculty members that are there in the Center for Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences or CAOS and, or CAOS as we call it. And then finally the selection process. So first is the eligibility. First for the two year MTech program, uh, the eligibility is B or B Tech in any discipline with gate papers in aerospace engineering, civil engineering, chemical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, or engineering sciences. So if you do not fall or uh, are not a graduate of any of the previous engineering courses, uh, say for example, computer science or IT or biotech, etc., but still you want to uh, pursue this program, you can write a, uh, engineering sciences gate paper and you can uh, get admission through it and secondly a uh, student who have uh, or people who have done msc in physical sciences or that means um, and then you will need to write a gate on in mathematics or physics and that can be uh, that is accepted as an eligibility criteria Second is for MTech research. For MTech research, the criteria or the eligibility is a little more relaxed. You can be a B, B Tech in any branch as well as you can write a get paper in any branch you want and you can use that as an eligibility criteria. Uh, you will be eligible to apply. Uh, and then MSc with exposure of mathematics in undergraduate or postgraduate. So you can be an MS, uh, MSc in any branch, which branch it doesn't matter, but there should be, you should be exposed to mathematics in your undergraduate or postgraduate program. That is a, an important criteria. And then you should, you must have a CSIR or UGC net qualified person or get qualified person even for sciences. So this is the broad criteria for MTech two year program and MTech by research program. Second, let's come to the courses. So the courses is, is mostly targeted towards atmosphere, ocean, climate system. This is an interdisciplinary program. So there is a lot of different uh, disciplines that are included in this course. Uh, it ranges from physics to chemistry to uh, geophysics and geochemistry not exactly geochemistry but uh, some aspects of it like and things like that i will give you a tentative or an i uh, list kind of of eight courses which is not an exhaustive list but you will get an idea as to what type of courses are offered in this program so for example atmospheric dynamics uh, atmospheric dynamics and thermodynamics then ocean dynamics cloud radiation and climate Earth systems, numerical modeling of climate, method, methods of observation, satellite meteorology, and climate data with time series analysis. So 
there is scope for experimental work there is scope for um, numerical modeling and other data analytics kind of uh, work in this uh, course uh, in mtech research the coursework load is much lesser like i already mentioned so you need to do around six to eight courses whereas in mtech two year or regular mtech program you are supposed to complete probably around 14 courses uh, that is almost the same as that is uh, the case for other MTech programs in other departments of the institute. Then let's come to the faculty members. So there are 11 regular, regular faculty members and one associate faculty. Uh, by regular faculty, I mean the faculty members who are part of Center for Atmospheric Sciences. Uh, and associate faculty is the faculty who is not part of Center for Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences or COS, uh, but a faculty in at IS in other department. So I'll just read out the names to familiarize you about uh, who all are the faculty members. So uh, Professor P. N. Vinay Chandran, G. S. Bhatt, Ravi S. Nanjundaya, Devasis Sengupta, S.K. Satish, Govinda Sami Bala, V. Venugopal, Orindam Chakraborty, J. Sukhatme, Ashwin K. Sheshadri, Boishak Dotto Gayan, Prashanjit Ghosh. So Prashanjit Ghosh is the associate faculty. He is the faculty member of the Center for Earth Sciences, but he is also an associate faculty in COS. So this is the broad idea. Now let's go to the selection process. So the selection process uh, of this M of the two year MTech program is primarily based on your GIT. So if you remember that for uh, the two year program, you need to write GIT, whether you are from an engineering discipline or whether you, you are from physical sciences. So if you had from physical sciences background with an MSc, you need to write a uh, gate in mathematics or physics. And if you are an engineering graduate, then you have to write a gate paper in uh, your discipline. For example, in um, the disciplines that are accepted is aerospace, civil, mechanical, electronic, electronics and communication, electrical, mechanical. And if you are from some other discipline uh, of engineering, then you write, need to write an engineering sciences gate paper. So the gate is the primary um, factor, which is around 70% of the weightage is given to the gate uh, score or the gate rank or whatever um, you can say. And then 30% weightage is in the interview process. So the in because this is an interdisciplinary course and there is an interview that happens as compared to in my previous video where I have talked about MTech in civil engineering, there is no uh, interview that happens for the MTech two year program. It is only based on your gate score. You get a you apply and you get an offer letter if you if if your score makes the cutoff and you get accepted. Uh, but whereas in atmospheric sciences, you need to give an interview and the intake is 10. So 30% weightage is on interview and 70% weightage is on uh, gate score and the total intake or the number of students accepted for this program every year is 10. So only 10 students are uh, accepted and the MTech research program uh, selection process is completely based on interview. The gate or the UGC CSIR net that you qualify is just a qualifying exam. Uh, so it's kind of an eligibility criteria. Only if you have uh, have qualified in these entrance exams, you are, uh, you are supposed to apply. And once you apply, then you can, you based on the score or rank and your CV, you get called for the interviews. And that is an internal process, but the selection is completely based on interview. So this is the summary uh, of uh, the climate, MTech in Climate Sciences uh, co-program at IISC in the Center for Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences. This is an excellent course because as you can see, there are 
eleven faculty members, regular faculty members who are there, who are from various different disciplines of uh, atmospheric sciences, ranging from uh, oceans oceanographer to um, climate dynamics person or a meteorologist or a satellite remote sensing person to a, uh, expert in aerosol or expert in CO2. So there is a huge and very good spread of expertise that is available. So I would highly recommend um, exploring this course. And if you find it interesting, if you're interested in climate physics or climate chemistry and things like that, uh, it's an excellent uh, program to join and pursue and there are very good scopes in terms of uh, job after this or uh, joining a PhD program after this. If you have any questions, please write in the comment section. You can also reach out to me and follow me on LinkedIn. I'll give the my LinkedIn uh, profile link in the description. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time.